Now, we have heard before how the bitter cold can freeze your pipes. We just heard it in her story there. It can happen if you don't have enough insulation. So tonight we have a look at what one family encountered. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards went to Westland where people were coping with a big mess there. It's been a long day for Casey Roberts and a lot of waiting. She was without water for hours after a pipe froze overnight. It must have froze fast because I had it working last night, probably around 8 o'clock. This one, unfortunately, was wide open, so all the cold air from outside came in, got cold enough overnight with the low temperatures, and it simply froze the water, the water service in the house. Crews at Danwood Plumbing and Heating say the cold air was able to seep through this crawl space. Absolutely, cold weather is responsible for it. Uh, the configuration of the crawl space the way it is, the way the pipe is laying underground, it's not insulated in any way. When the weather gets this chilly, experts say make sure your home is insulated. Crews spent hours thawing out the water service line. And for Casey, she says she won't ever take for granted something as simple as a faucet. You can't do anything. I mean, pretty much. You, you go to wash your hands, you can't even do that. Yeah, no coffee, no uh, uh, toilet, can't flush the toilet. You can flush it once, but that's, that's it. And then... Um, dishes, <laughs> anything involving water. And crews were able to get water flowing once again in the house this afternoon. In the meantime, Casey says she plans on insulating crawl spaces in the house in the next couple of days. In Westland, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.